uh, Lauren Burke, has been found guilty of capital murder, for which the penalty is either life in prison or death. News Leader 9's Catherine Kington is standing by live in Opelika with more. And Catherine, any idea how close they are on deciding his sentence? Barbara, it looks like they're trying to get it over tonight. Closing statements have just happened in this mini trial that has happened, and the jury is deciding if they want to choose to recommend to Judge Walker life without parole or the death penalty, which is what the jury can decide if they choose capital murder, meaning that they believe Courtney Lockhart intended to kill Lauren Burke in March of 2008. Now, what this happens with capital murder, it's almost like a mini trial occurs again. Opening statements happen from both the prosecution and the defense. And then the prosecution said everything we have proven, we want to remain on the table for the jury to remember. The defense, however, has brought many witnesses up, saying one being Catherine Lockhart Williams, who is Courtney Lockhart's mother, who said Courtney was a good kid. He didn't get in trouble. He was the class clown, always trying to make she and his brother laugh. But when he got back from Iraq, he was just never the same. He was always afraid, very paranoid. And she said he was never the same. Then Jeremy Armstrong, the defense attorney, asked her, is there anything you want to say to the Burke family? And it became very emotional as she is literally sobbing, gasping for breath saying, Miss Burke and your whole family, I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I wish I could take it back, but I don't have the power. Only God has that. But for the many restless nights you must have spent, I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. But I've got to tell you the shock of the trial, probably to date, is Curtis James who took the stand. This is Courtney Lockhart's father, who he has not seen until today for 20 years. And he said he was very emotional as he said he wishes he could take it back. Courtney made many efforts to try to have him in his life. Courtney really wanted a father figure. He started crying and said, I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't think twice if I knew that this could save Miss Burke and bring her back. It was very emotional as this happened. He then said that he was so sorry and wishes Courtney wouldn't have done this. He walked out and looked at Courtney. Courtney has seemed unfazed this entire time as he left. And then he told right before he walked out that Courtney saw him in the hallway and he said, are you okay? Courtney saying, and where have you been? It was very dramatic. Now, as of right now, they're deciding between life and death. We will keep you updated. You can go to WTVM.com throughout the night to see if it is on there and we will be there until we get the final verdict. For now in the Justice Center, Catherine Kington, WTVM News Leader 9. All right. Thanks very much, Catherine.